Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Flooring inspector? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. Uh, she only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream... You idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8mm point-tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2mm flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. 
<laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. OK, first question. This is an easy one. Next question, also an easy one. Reference counted. Hmm, a little harder. Ah, debugging is on a second monitor. Last question. Ouch, this is going to take some thinking. Got it, exclusive ore. Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of it. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. Yay! I answered all the mu- I always like to watch this part. That sounds like the doorbell. Sounds like the doorbell. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores, here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Diggin! Diggin! How exciting! I hope I get the job. Hiya, Dolores! I have a letter for you! Oh! Good luck! See ya! Diggin' in the front green! Digging in the front green with my rusty shovel. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! 
gets a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. Better ring the doorbell. Hello? How can I help you? Federal agent. Are you kids doing drugs in here? I'm sorry. This isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call a lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. Be careful. I need to... I'm sorry for your loss. Dig in! Thanks. Dig in! Dig in! Thank you. 
that should fix it. I'll just leave it where it is. That way I can laugh at the sheriff whenever I feel like crap. Thimbleweed Park guided tours? You got any gluten-free donuts? Here's a new wallet with my picture on it. Oh, Ransom the Clown wallet. Thanks. Here's my old one. What am I gonna do with this piece of... Here's a bloody wallet. I don't want to pick that up. Oh, what have we here, Reno? Have our big city agent, Arenos, actually solved the murder? I'll take that. Let's see what it says, Arino. Oh, blah, Reno, blah, Reno, oh, blah, Reno. Ah, Willie T. Wino. Just as I suspected, Arino. Yeah, I'll be right back. Willie, you are under arrest, Areno, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? What? Come with me, Areno. Well, Willie Areno, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Areno? These feds will break you. You want to close this case, Areno? Have at him. Do you think we should play good cop, bad cop? What else would we play? I'll play bad cop. I'm the bad cop, and she's the good cop. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell him that. 
Oh, not good cop, bad cop. I did it, I did it. I killed the man by the bridge just to watch him die. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't mess with the feds. I'm glad I caught the killer, and we can finally leave this stinkhole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah, I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. It's a padlock and chain, keeping the gate closed. Shut up in there! Everyone knows the best zombie weapon would be a lightsaber. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. Pizza coupons! You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. Do we know each other? Wait a second. You look familiar. <laughs> Weren't we in freshman chem class together? What's your name? Dolores. I know who you are. You're Dolores Edmund. You and your Uncle Chuck were working on mind control, Ray, to remove our free will before he died. What? Don't play dumb with me. I know you put bugs in our pillows. You'll never take me alive! It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never gonna hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. 
I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Ah, I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown. It's all that Franklin's fault. He was gonna talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown licensed dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. Here goes nothing. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. Not long now. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We send the package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. Here's your package, Abu. Thank you. Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Then I guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touché. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. Okay. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How old were you? I was only five. 
I'm here to try and clear his name and prove it was Chuck's fault. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Well, a Japanese... I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. Sounds like we both need to get into the Pillow Factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Ma'am, I have a package of for you. Perfect. It's a special tool for a special use. Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. I have four free ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. Caller, you're live on KSUM. Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is, fill in the blank. This is your brain. This is drugs. Blank. That's correct. Here's your second question. Who played Marty McFly in Back to the Future? You got it right. And your final question, who said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall? You got it. Let's see how you did. You got three out of three, a perfect score. You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Uh, my name. Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the K-Scum Abu Trivia Contest. What is your name, Abu, please? Ah, yes, here's your name, Abu, on the list. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu.
tubular. Thank you. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Guy, yeah, prosper. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi, Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000, and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros. Dolores, you figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. I did it! It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Balowick. Here's the decoded will, Mr. Balowick. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. One of Chuck's three stipulations is now fulfilled. The will is decoded. We still need a thimbleberry pie, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. Mr. Balowick, here's the uh, freshly baked thimbleberry pie. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. The final one is to read the will in your Uncle Chuck's opulent tomb. I'll meet you there. Well, my family will wait right here until you've opened the tomb, Dolores. Hurry along. We don't have all evening. Poor Chuck, he needs... Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her. The elevator isn't on this floor.
can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. Now, all three of Chuck Edmund's stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament, blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? and that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. What? Oh my. Woo! <laughs> Doug likes farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. In the meantime, Safely First Savings now has possession of the pillow factory and its key. Oh, and this last part in tiny print, Dolores gets a Pillowtron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillowtronics. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is this an obscene phone call? Keep talking. I've almost traced you. Keep talking. I've almost traced you. We interrupt our hostile takeover nonstop music with this important message. I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Let me get that for you. And now back to our heat up pun while it's still hot. <coughs> this hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. Huh? Oh. <sighs> I feel better now. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go. I 
feel better now. one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. Blah, blah. I feel better now. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. Ratting to the feds on me, eh? Just order your food and get lost. I'm not really hungry, and I'm glad I can waste your time. Now get lost. Hey, don't take that yourself. You think this is a cafeteria? Here. I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap, and I ought to know. I, uh, gotta go. <laughs> I feel better now. Oh, I love carrying stuff. What the? You can't carry this. Yes, it's my father's watch. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. Here you go, hon. Hungry? Would you like this burger? Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I uh, 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 I have to go to my room. If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I'm sure this will all resolve itself at trial. But I didn't do it, I swear! Uh, the only man I ever wanted to kill is Chuck Edmund. He's already dead. I wouldn't say that to a jury, Willie. The evidence is already fairly incriminating. 
If you didn't do it, why did you confess? I was scared and confused. When you pulled that good cop, bad cop stuff on me, I'd have said anything to make it stop. I'm just a humble watching violin repairman to the stars. I'm not used to your big city torture techniques. You were a watch repairman? Yep. The best thimbleweed I'd ever seen. Society's elites would come from all over the county to get their fiddle plucked or their cogs cranked by old Willie. So long, Willie. Now get me out of here or get bent. I'm innocent. I heard you used to have a watch repair shop. Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Well, let me see it. Well, that's a strange looking watch. Ah, but sure, I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. Willie, here are the tools you wanted. Ah, oh, thanks. Nice tools. I'm innocent. Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, here's my watch for you to fix. Okay, hand it over. Okay, your watch is fixed. Here you go. The key fits. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 6.25. Not leaving Dad's watch behind. <laughs> 